If you're going to embark on sales and marketing activity, you'll probably want to start thinking about data and how you find customers. You can go out and buy data, but you need to be really careful you, that you're getting the right thing. If you go to a data supplier, you want to be making sure that you're using the right filters. You can use things such as company size, you might want to target small businesses or large businesses, and that can be done by employee numbers or by turnover. You might want to target people by their interests, so if you're targeting consumers, it might be about what are they interested in, or their age, or where do they live. Geographical area is important. Do you want to be talking to people in Scotland, or in Wales, or just in London, for example? You might want to target specific decision makers within businesses. Maybe it's the sales manager, maybe it's the business owner, or the HR director. You might want to target companies that are only privately owned or companies who have got multiple offices. All these things are things that you can find in data, but it's important to identify and understand your own target market before you go out and buy that. Once you go to the supplier, make sure that you ask if there's an accuracy guarantee. There's a lot of data out there that's not updated regularly and you want to be making sure that you're not wasting calls or wasting effort on trying to target people who are no longer in business or that have left that company. Finally, combine your data then with other knowledge. Look at companies' websites, look at great tools like LinkedIn and gather more information. How many employees does it say they have on LinkedIn? You know, what is their main source of business? What do they do day in, day out? What are their interests? All that information is valuable stuff so that when you're talking to people, you've got great intel and you're ready and prepared to build some great rapport with them and be showing your credibility from the off.